Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been a long time coming. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. But if you've been here before, you may have already seen parts one and two of my bedroom renovation. The last update I posted, part two, was over a year ago, so a lot has changed since then, and I've now been living in this place for about four years. So I've had four years to work on this room, and I feel like it's finally at a place where it feels like very peaceful. Like there's not really any section of it that I'm like, oh, that bothers me or oh, I wish I could change that. So I am finally going to give you a full tour of the whole thing. If you want to see parts one and two for some of the DIYs and like the bigger projects that went into this room, I'll link those below. That's where I go into a lot more detail about how to do some of these big DIY projects and how to totally change the wall and the floor of the room without making any permanent changes because I am a renter. So if you want details on that, you can head to parts one and two of this video. Just in case you missed all of that, before I head into a full tour of the room, let's review. My style is to make things minimal and light and bright and lots of whites and very clean and peaceful feeling. So I wanted to find a way to get that kind of look that was more minimal and white without making any permanent changes. So the first thing I did was I added this temporary wood floor, which is just a piece of vinyl flooring that we laid on top of the carpet. Next thing I did was this foam faux white brick wall. It's not temporary on its own, but what I did was just put down a grid of painter's tape and then I taped the bricks to the painter's tape. So that was kind of like my temporary hack to make that work. Then I added a curtain rod with these beautiful sheer curtains from Ikea. They were $4 each, but I think I ended up using like about 16 all across. I wanted them to be really tall to make the room feel nice and big. And then the rest of it was just furniture, so we did a DIY headboard, um, I found some nightstands on Craigslist that I painted, and I've actually repainted them since the last update, so I'll show you those. And then this dresser that's here to my left, um, we did a little upcycle, so it looks totally different than it looked before. So in the part 2 video, I was going for more of like a colorful, fun vibe, but I decided once I started putting it together that it looks a little bit too youthful. Like to me it kind of looks like a little kid's room the way it was coming together. So I decided to switch it to a more neutral look to keep it, you know, mature because I'm an adult. Also, did anyone else notice that my shirt kind of matches this painting? <laughs> Clearly I have a color vibe going on. So all that to say, even if you did watch part two, it looks pretty different now. I completely redecorated the side of the room. I changed a few things over there too. Um, so, are you guys ready for the tour? So this is actually the same dresser as before, but I sanded it down to the original wood, added some different knobs, and gave it a really, really light stain so that it would match the floor. 
and I love how it turned out. Top knobs of the dresser are all from the Anthropology clearance bin. So I just found whatever four mismatched ones. These handles are from Home Depot. This artwork is actually just the back of the frame. I just painted it with some oil paint, some colored pencil, some a bunch of different colors, just kind of on a whim one day. And then this mirror is from Target. I thought it was so cute. And this lamp we actually used to have in the living room, but I thought it would make a nice addition in here. And it's from Lamps Plus. And then these nightstands, in the last video, you probably saw that they were... They were originally like a dark, dark brown, and then I painted them white on the outside, but I wanted like a pop of color inside. I ended up not liking that. I felt like it looked really like youthful, like a kid's bedroom. So I decided to just paint them all white and then put a nice basket. I like to have baskets to store things. Otherwise, nightstands with like an open section like that, they tend to start to look really messy. So I thought the basket would help with that. I actually haven't finished this paint job because we are currently quarantined and I ran out of paint, but I thought it was good enough for the video. You can't really tell. The diffuser I found at TJ Maxx and the lamps I got at Home Goods. Um, let's see. And then the headboard was a DIY, which was in my last video too. So I will link that. These hooks, they used to be just silver and I just spray painted the hooks gold. This, I still want to finish it up. So this is just a little blanket holder. Right now it has this weird tablecloth on top. Um, but really it's just a bookshelf that I found at Goodwill for like, I think it's like $5 or $10. So I just put it on its side, cleaned it out, and then we use this for blanket storage. But eventually I want to cover it with a top and turn it into like a little bench. I think that would be really cute. And then here's a little update on the floor. So if you watched the first video, you saw that this floor is just a temporary vinyl thing that we laid down. And we really like it. I'm still really glad we did it, but it does have this one little bubble that always pops up right there. And I can't quite figure out how to make it not do that. So that's the one problem with the floor. But the brick wall has stayed really well. I haven't had to redo any parts of it. So this has been up for, I think, two years, and it hasn't come down, so that's good. I'll update you guys when eventually we move out to see if it did a good job of not damaging the wall. But underneath there is just painter's tape, so it should peel off really easily. So that's pretty much my final bedroom. I'm really happy with how it looks. I feel like there are good like kind of storage spots for everything so it's gonna hopefully stay pretty clean and not look too cluttered and then i'm still kind of debating whether the bed area is too bland because it's very very neutral and simple right now i'm not sure if it needs a little bit of a pop of color i wanted to just style it with a pretty base of flowers but we're in the middle of stay at home quarantine because of covid19 so it's just everything's a little bit more complicated um, so I didn't have the chance to get flowers to put in a vase, but I imagine having those there to be the little pop of color over there. Anyways, would love to hear if you guys think I need to add a pop of color to that side of the room or if I can officially say I'm finally done decorating this bedroom. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. I'll link everything below. A lot of the stuff that I bought is like home goods or Goodwill, but I have also a few DIYs and all the instructions are written out in blog posts, so I'll link everything below and I'm also making a full blog post dedicated to the final room with pictures in case you prefer to look at photos instead of video so I'll link that below too link 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 so I think that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of my renter friendly bedroom renovation if you haven't already I would really appreciate a thumbs up on this video go ahead and click subscribe on my channel and I'll see you next time